As always, Playdate is brought to you by Triple, the original high seltzer. Redefining the party landscape. Playdate, episode 39. I think I got one. Let's hear it. Danny Woodhead? I don't think... Google Danny Woodhead. So. Google Danny Woodhead. But I hope you're right. Lauren's just fucking mixing up some, chopping up some beats yeah, over there. I'm Wait, Lauren, Lauren, you haven't done all your clicks yet. <laughs> Danny no, Woodhead. I already Show started. me Danny Woodhead. This guy? Yep. Oh, well done. Bang! Well done. That was a snipe. Danny, number 39. Danny Woodhead. Danny Woodhead, arguably one of the strangest cats of all time. Block me on Twitter. Fun what? fact. Uh, I think it was, I actually think it was like something, like it was like vaccine misinformation. And I, and I was... Were, what side were you or on? Or something. It was like... No, I remember it was just like early COVID and he tweeted something like weird, I think, about like COVID or like... Oh, I was, was like, don't take the vaccine type of stuff. Yeah. And I just... It like popped in my feed and I thought it was funny. So I replied. I was like, I was like, okay, bozo or something. And he just immediately blocked me. I liked... To picture it like uh, like Danny Woodhead was scrolling and saw you being like, <laughs> the vaccine gives you autism. And Danny he Woodhead blocked. was like, not on my feed. No, I not definitely. Not in the house of Woodhouse. I chirped him in his comments on Twitter. I think it was something like that. But yeah, it was just funny that he just immediately blocked me. <laughs> it's like, yeah. How, how are you not used to like. It is a funny. Flack. I've never been a block guy. I do like. It feels like they win when you block them. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say, like, well, yeah, but it is funny to to be one of those guys that's just like anything that I don't like. Yeah, I don't, don't want to like. hear it. Yeah, <laughs> like, get out. It must be a peaceful world. Yeah, I mean, His I guess yeah, you create only like-minded individuals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was driving home yesterday, or sorry, two days ago, and uh, there was this guy in like a... You ever seen like the Malcolm in the Middle minivan? No. No. Pull it up. Malcolm in the Middle van. <laughs> yeah, it's like he was driving like one of these uh, guys. Yeah. And I like made a mental note, being like, "That's a fun car." <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. And uh, we were at the same light, and he was kind of like fucking with the guy in front of us, just like honking at him. But like he was laughing, so I was like, "All right, like this is funny." But it was Wait, like, what do you mean he was fucking with the guy in front of him? Like, bah, 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 like, like, not like, Did not like laying on the horn. I don't know. And he was just like kind of playing with the horn. It was funny. We, that would drive me insane. It was. It was. It was crazy. It was a crazy move. But like, given the context, right. it was funny. Yeah. Right. And he yeah. wasn't harmful. It was just like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> you can't you know, honk at someone in traffic in like a playful way. It felt it felt more playful. He was than, doing the like. Burp, 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 burp. He was just having a good day. And then <laughs> when, we, when, when we pulled out onto, I think like Ocean Park or whatever. Okay. Just there's traffic coming the other way. Just rolled down his window and just flipped every person off. Just for literally like a mile and a half. He was red hot. And then <laughs> he just like weaved through traffic. And I didn't see him again. But I like I like that there are guys like that out there. Yeah. I, like mean, I would never have. Yeah, he's just having the best day of all time. Yeah, or the fuck, or, or the, the worst, worst day. <laughs> Either way, he was making it everyone else's problem, but it was, it was really funny. I kind of respect it. Yeah, it's like what's that car called? It's like um, Volkswagen. I always Is that wanted the brand. Uh, no, a uh, uh, station wagon. That's what you're thinking of. Uh, yeah, like a Woody. You remember those Jeep Woodies? No, they're like. The Grand Wagoneers, but they call them Woodies because they have those panels on the side. Uh, my uncle, I call him Woody. Why? I don't know. <laughs> His name's Tim, but my dad's also Tim, so yeah. I just always called him Woody growing up. I Why mean, everyone did, not uncle. just me. It was like, he was Woody. Wouldn't it just be Uncle Tim? No, it's Uncle Woody. Oh, so there is still the... What do you guys think your grandparents' names are going to be? I oh, was, you know what? I was just about to ask you guys. I this. named my grandma for our whole family. Wasn't your brother like nine by then? Yeah, I know. So she was <laughs> she was granny. Yeah. Until I came around. And yeah. for whatever reason I just kept saying grandy with like a D Y. And it like totally caught on. So like everyone calls her she's grandy. Grandy. Like she identifies yeah. as grandy. That's cute. Every cousin calls her grandy. Even the older ones Are retroactively. You the youngest cousin? Not in that side of the family. But I am in Is is is, the, is it's common for like the the oldest child, whatever they call them, usually, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how alpha is it that I came in? Like, it's pretty great. I was bottom third, and I fucked 
fucking rewrote the whole. I think so, I want to be Grammy. My Grammy is Grammy. 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 Yeah. What about Grandmama? Or, no. or Mima? I think there's someone Ew. in my family that's Grandmama. What do you mean, Ew. Not, you're not a Mima. No, Mima's I'm not a Mima. You're me- a Peepaw, though. <laughs> I could be a Peepaw for sure. Peepaw? That's a thing? Yeah. Peep, uh, yeah like, uh, you should be poop. Poopy. Yeah, it is funny when some <laughs> of them are just like, like literal names for shit. Poopy. <laughs> Yeah, that's my poopy. poopy. <laughs> oh, you know what I like? My buddy, my buddy's grandpa is Pepper. Pepper? Yeah. What? With an R at the end? Yeah, I think it's like French. <laughs> like they're weird. not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, his last name is very French. La Prade. Yeah. Is that French? Yeah. It's not la anything? Yeah. I think it sounds. I think yeah. in Spanish, I think they do like. Abuela. Yeah, yo. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of how, like, other countries, like, when they laugh over text, it's like, ja, 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 ja. That is all time. I, ja, 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 ja. I, I sat next to uh, a girl oh, oh, a girl oh. from Greece in one of my classes, and, and you know, they communicate on, like, WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone else, I think. I remember, like, looking at her screen one time. We were, like, <laughs> we were, like, I, like looked over, and they all, like, speak in... What like it is it is it Greek like would they be <laughs> the speaking? language yeah, yeah. Greek, Greek so they the like language. it's like symbols that I like don't understand yeah and it was it, I was crazy it was the first time I had realized like oh e- e- people who speak another language like also text in another language like yeah. it was very strange to watch I think what I think is crazy and this is just <laughs> based on a complete lack of understanding of how it works is like like when you see like. Chinese characters like mm-hmm. type like I don't understand my understanding of how like Chinese or Japanese like characters work is that they're like w- entire words or phrases associated with like yeah a character so like how could you mouse. how could you possibly have a keyboard that has all the things that like I'm really sure there's question. an answer to this that I just like yeah Google that how, like, does, how could how do how, Chinese people text how do, how does the Chinese keyboard work. <laughs> Yeah, aren't like aren't like one, like one character will be like an entire sentence? Yeah, so they can't. <laughs> like, uh, uh, oh, Chu Bong Fu invented a <laughs> common input method. Of course, Chu Bong Fu was the guy that did it. You, I it's just like where you have to like hit something twice or like three times, and then it'll generate a character. Oh, that's funny. okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. I bet if I was Chinese, I would just be talking. You would just do voice to text. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, who was it? Wait, was uh, that yeah. you that got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a voice to text? That was, <laughs> I'll find it. It was so funny. What was this it? Is, it was from his mom, and it was just funny that, because it said sent with Siri, and it was definitely a thing that's like, yeah, she you should not been, have said this out loud. saying it in public. Oh, like, like, it was kind of a... Yeah. Where was that? Well, I mean, we can... No, no, no. I, I want to find it as well. Yeah. Well, is the, is the hot coffee growing it's on It's actually you? delicious. Oh, okay. Is it the Avena? Mm-hmm. I owe you one. I'll get one next podcast. So she texts in, she texts in a family group chat, and it says it's at the bottom. It says "sent with Siri." So <laughs> presumably she's saying this out loud, almost not pre- like certainly. Yeah, in or public, in the car. Though. Oh, that's that's a wild card fact. But what, she what walks I mean? around Portland, and okay. so she goes. There are so many homeless people walking through Portland. It's starting to feel a little bit scary. <laughs> Sent with Siri, and I like to picture her walking down the street. There's just a pack Walking of them. That's like an encampment. And just saying it so loud into her phone. Just no no sense of awareness. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's not a, that's not a good voice text. Um, no. This podcast is brought to you by Triple. Triple is the original high seltzer with 3 milligrams of THC and just 15 to 20 calories. Triple offers a social buzz similar to that of your favorite hard seltzer, light on calories, high on life. It's all natural. Gluten free and again, just fifteen to twenty calories. Triples. Look, we've got a variety pack with us right in the studio. We've got lime, delicious, grapefruit, delicious, cherry lemon, delicious, delicious. I mean, Memorial Day weekend. I couldn't think of a better thing. Right now, you're on the other side of Memorial Day weekend. Imagine you only drink triples. You probably feel like a million bucks. Yeah, a million bucks. Mm-hmm. You know what they say? Well, zero percent hangover. 100% social. 100% social. Triple is born from a desire to blend THC's social buzz with the social ritual of sipping on a seltzer. Triple is now available in total wine locations, grocery stores, liquor stores, bars, and restaurants in Florida, Texas, and you guessed it, now Missouri. 
Looking at you, St. Louis. Looking at you, Lake of the Ozarks. Looking at you, Kansas City. It is currently also available online nationwide. To get it now, go to drinktriple.com and use code PLAYDATE for 10% off your order. That's drink, T-R-I-P-L-E, dot com and use code PLAYDATE for 10% off your order. Triple, redefining the party landscape. Let's get back into the episode. Is it just me or do you guys feel like this episode is like sleepy slow motion yeah it's early i i am like i woke up this morning like, a little high i still. think this is sleepy slow motion <laughs> i hate to be that guy guys take guys what i'm if you're watching uh actually i guess you could do this on either turn the playback speed to half yeah p- turn it way down yeah no should we, should no we, we have to talk really fast and then it will sound normal so anyway, I was I, I slept on the couch last night. Why? I don't know. I, I, two <laughs> nights in a row. Oh. What do you fall asleep to? Mad Men. Really? That, and you worried you're gonna like miss like a pretty crucial. Story? I always do. I always miss the end, and then I have to have Chester catch me up before we start the next episode. But dude. we have been watching Mad Dude. Matt, have you ever seen the show Mad Men? I see clips. It's oh. fucking insane the way that they treat women in this. I mean, it's like uh, I mean, evidently. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's like accurate. Yeah, I think it's like accurate. <laughs> I, of like, I don't think they're playing it up. I know it takes place in 1960, mm-hmm. and there are things that every like scene. There's something that happens where you're just like, what, like slapping bums? No, like slapping kids. Oh, what? And like this one guy like smacked a kid. And then and was like, you need, you gotta stop, you gotta watch where you're going. And then you assume that it was like his kid, and then like another dad comes up and was like, sorry about him. <laughs> you're like, you just smacked someone else's yeah. kid, and it was fine. And then there's just like the things they say, like there was like a meeting, a business meeting, and like a woman kind of spoke up, and the main character stood up and he's like, you will not talk to me like that, <laughs> and stormed out. And like, yeah. it's crazy. It's a crazy. It was a different time. Is it a long series? Like is it seven like- seasons? Yeah, oh, wow. it was like the, one of the biggest shows. I think yeah. it was like huge. I remember hearing about it when we were younger. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's got to be up there. Um, yeah, it is a different. It's funny hearing your grandparents or your parents talk about like just being alive. Then, yeah, my dad was like, if you like smoke out of turn in class, they just like hit you in the knuckles with like a ruler. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, what else is this guy Ben in? I John like- Ham. Yeah, what a else? lot. You, you ever hear about his uh, his Parks and Rec? No, his hazing shit. Uh, no, what's his? He hazed me. He when I, <laughs> <laughs> I think when he was it, uh, at I don't remember where he went. I think it was UT. They almost killed a kid hazing them. John Ham. Yeah, oh. Google John. Google John Ham fraternity hazing. I think he like beat him with a hammer. Like it wasn't even like he was doing something funny that went wrong. What? Like he was just like genuinely doing something really bad. Accused of setting a person on fire? What? Yeah, he. I'm pretty sure they beat him with a hammer and then set him on fire. And they were just like, um, boys will be boys. He's always been a goofball. <laughs> According to court records, the pledge claimed that Ham set his jeans on fire, shoved his face in dirt <laughs> before hitting him with a paddle. He rears back and hits me left hand and hit me right over my right kidney. What? I mean, uh, setting someone setting someone's jeans on fire is just hazing. Said he had the claw of a hammer hooked jeans underneath his crotch as he was led around the room. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, God. you guys! You guys have never taken a pledge for a walk before? It was college. <laughs> it was college. We were all doing it. Yeah, that guy looks like he. Look at him. He kind of looks like a psychopath, in yeah. general. Yeah, that's the last. That's the last face you see before someone leads you around a room <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> <in your nuts. laughs> yeah, that's wild. Mm. Huh. That is crazy. Um, was there any? Was there any shovel head hazing? Um, no. It, <laughs> Hello, hello, Shovelhead. That was my comedy group. The the only thing, like, oh, I guess I can't. I don't think I can. Talk. Is it secret? I mean, I, like, yeah, enough that like I it would. Why do you still have to keep it a secret if you're not in college anymore? Well, I'm trying to uh, honor. You've, like, clearly, you've clearly never been part of a brotherhood cl- before. It's been around since it's the '80s, and the there's like, like, like traditions, and it. I feel like it. Rem- yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing crazy. There's <laughs> all the all I was gonna say is this. <laughs> I don't think this part's like really a secret. It's like if you get when you audition for this comedy group, there's like you go to the audition and then if you get a call back, it's like two days later and they text you that day and like call back tonight. And the call back is like, I, I didn't know this, but I got the text and I had to go to this call back. It was like five hours long. <laughs> and then they send you home at like one or two in the morning. And then they come. <coughs> if you get in the group, they come back at like three, eight, four a.m. Bang on the door of your room. And then grab you and say, like, go, 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 go. And they take you. 
I picture that like to, she's the man scene to an off like, taking him into the shower and covering uh, like guacamole. Yeah, I haven't seen that, but it was Probably pretty similar. Something along those lines, and I had uh, I. It was it was college, and I had um, <laughs> it was you know, college. I had in- ingested some marijuana after getting home. Yeah, and I was sitting on the couch. oh, like not knowing they were going to come get. Yeah, you. I didn't know oh. that. I like I was like, oh, I hope that callback went well. I didn't know that part of it is that they come kidnap you. Yeah. So I was sitting on my couch at like three in the morning, like barefoot, watching the Great British Bake Off, <laughs> and I just hear like, whoa, 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 whoa. No You're time. Like, you don't have time to oh put your shoes no. on. You don't. And I was so scared. And they took me and they threw me in the back of a car. <laughs> and they took me and wherever they took me, I won't reveal all the secrets of the of the club. But all that matters is I didn't participate in any of it because I just immediately fell asleep on the couch when we got there. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> we got really into um, like we would have the new guys kidnap like older guys, like the scary guys. Yeah. And so uh, you'd just be like sitting. And, like, everyone in the room knew, like, okay, like, Bailey's getting, like, kidnapped tonight, except for Bailey. Got it. So you're just sitting there, and you're like, where the hell are those guys? <laughs> <laughs> they would, like, burst in in, like, ski masks, and it was, like, you'd, you'd try and work their way up. So we'd start out with, like, easy guys. Like, there was this one kid who, Nikki got kidnapped every semester uh, of his, like, college experience, like, at least once. <laughs> and there was, like, be, there was one. He was living paranoid <laughs> every day of his life. He was just, like, this, like, the nicest guy. And so, like, everyone knew, like, all right, we start him out with Nikki. They can, like, kind of figure out, like, how to get good at it. Yeah. And uh, my favorite one was Nikki's, like, upstairs. I think similar to your situation, like, probably just ingested some some marijuana and was, uh, he had, like, the way he tells the story, he had just laid down with, like, a... <laughs> A piece of like Nutella toast. Yeah, and he was like very excited, like just gotten cozy and like was naked under his covers. And they burst in, and he like obviously got really scared. And he threw his bread in the air, and then it like stuck to his chest. <laughs> 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 and uh, and I remember he you just hear him like duct taping his ankles together, or, like zip tying his ankles, whatever. And he's like, he's like, let me put on my boxes. Let me put on my boxes. <laughs> just like pleading with these like 17 and 18 year olds. To let so him. he's just hanging brain? Yeah. And then we had to be like, all right, obviously like let him put his boxes on. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to like, they had to like unduct tape his ankles. And he like kind of took all the air out of the room. Jesus and then, uh, yeah, I only got got, I only got got once. You got kidnapped? I got kidnapped. I was on, I have a video of it. I'm just on my couch. <laughs> and uh, I was like their, their like uh, the new med- new member educator or whatever. So like I was the one being like kidnap this guy. Yeah, I had never thought maybe someone would just go around me, and so yeah. I was like the last guy expecting it. And uh, yeah, they blindsided you. They got me. They got, <laughs> I was f- I was furious. Survivor finale tonight. Oh yeah. We're recording this episode a week early. Yes. If that before M M D. Because we're because go- fuck it. I'm going to Cape Cod this weekend. Cod. Out of Cape Cod tonight. That's my that's that my song. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cod, don't you know that it's insane? Oh. Don't you want to get mm. out of Cape Cod? Out of Cape Cod tonight. I don't remember Jesse. those being the lyrics, but I believe you. Are you doing Are you doing anything for MDW? I was probably gonna kick it pretty hard. Really? Yeah. Chilling out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I right. yeah. I don't know. I think Thursday night probably go out Friday night stay in Saturday night go out Sunday stay in sort of one one off wax on wax I'll off go, I'll go out with you on Thursday do you want to let's go you can party without me I'm at, oh I thought you leave Friday oh I do leave Friday you gonna come out with us yeah I mean I have a flight Friday morning but yeah sure speaking of flights and speaking of my status mm. I'm now I'm now pla- I'm now, now a platinum member <laughs> you're platinum which can you explain to me like what this really means? So I now get four Delta One, which is like the bed seats per year. Uh, I, th- I think that's it. That's a sick. I mean, I get to, I get to pick one. There are like a bunch of things that you can pick, and I I get that one. And then also like I don't want to hear this. Just keep going. Yeah. Just don't even look. Are you at me. Will, are you close to getting that? No. Uh, we'll I say. don't understand how I he's so far ahead of me cuz we literally travel like <laughs> almost we have identical travel schedules. Yeah. Like yes, we each travel like a little bit without each other, but I would say that probably evens out on its own. I don't know. It just sounds like you're not 
balling. <laughs> I guess it feels like that, too. Yeah. I just got a pretty fun text. What happened? Dax Flame is interested in coming on that 60 That guy for rules. Wait, who is that? I've heard of him. He's like this guy. On, he's in these movies, 21 Jump Street and Project X. You've seen him on Have TikTok you ever seen 21 Jump Street yeah, or Project yeah, X? Yeah, both of those. Okay, he's, yeah. the f- he's the guy that films in Project X. He's, and he's behind like the camera. Oh, the yeah, The science yeah, yeah. kid yes. in 21 Jump Street. Oh, that's Street. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very fun. So he texted you or you texted him? He j- Skyler just texted me that he's interested. Skyler's been DMing a bunch of people. Oh, nice. Yeah. We got, we're getting the guy from Holes. <laughs> yeah, you get zero from Holes. Zero from Holes is coming wow. on. I always kind of had a crush on Madame Zeroni growing up. Can you pull up Madame Zeroni? Is he like old? I don't know. I might be thinking the wrong one. I think yeah. you're thinking of the outlaw, like Kate. Kate Kissing Kate. <laughs> you had a crush yeah, no, on that's her? her? She's kind of cute. You had a crush on her? There was something. She's, she's she's pretty. Kate. She is a pretty. There was pretty. something about her. She's old. I mean, dude, what? <laughs> I mean, like shallow. Yeah, I guess you're right. right. Can you pull up Kissing Kate now? Look up Kissing Kate. Kissing Kate. Yeah, Kissing Kate. Kissing. Kiss. Kissing. No. Oh D. my God. Kissing. Omg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kissing Kate was bad. Who's this shoddy? So there was venom in her lipstick, and she would fucking. Is yeah. that how she killed people? Uh, she shoot them and then. <laughs> why was there venom in the lipstick? Though? Was there venom in the lipstick? Yeah, I don't really remember. I never watched the movie Holes because it like made me feel weird. Why? Do you know? Do you know I don't what know. that's called? There's a f- there's like a phobia of. No, uh, I have the phobia of holes. But trypophobia. That, the, yeah, yeah. My my uh, girlfriend in high school like swore that that was her biggest fear and i was like there's no way i it might be one of mine it's holes 100 percent one of no. like clusters she was, of she was like scared of like of little them. holes like on her like on her like hand have she you was, like worried that was gonna happen to well, her have hand. you seen those photos of i mean it's fake it's definitely like yeah, yeah i can't but i actually she was like terrified I pull it up? That no, no 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 like i like i'm not it's not like a bit like i actually ha- i no, I, I don't like it either i can't do that shit but holes isn't that doesn't happen in the movie holes just like that, this is gross. Yeah, okay, that's, that's all right. That's like one. All right, I don't even now like why that. you? Yeah, I know. I don't. I didn't like that. Um. Anyway, I uh, went to a cool. I went to a listening party last night for. Like, oh yeah, how was the LP? Release. Um, it was cool. Who was it? My. His why name, are you at all these listening parties? So my friend, you met Ava on Friday. Yeah. Ava works in the music industry. Super, super cool girl. And put a picture of Ava's hat right here. Yeah, the baby right. hat. Yeah. Uh, Rusty a posted a picture and a baby hat. That was my dog on Ava's. a tricycle here. Okay. <laughs> and she, one of her good friends, Jackie, yeah, is yeah, like the day to day manager for this. It's very like niche experimental EDM type music, but um, his name's Machine Drum. And he has. Machine Drum Kelly! Yes. But it was cool. It was at a warehouse in, in downtown. And I was kind of, into, everyone there seemed very cool and I was intimidated, but yeah. it, was, it was neat. That's exciting. You ever yeah. see that video of Machine Gun Kelly being like, they're like, Machine Gun, Machine Gun. He goes, it's Machine now. <laughs> and no. uh, look up look up Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, what, he he wants, actually changed wants, his name, right? Wants to go by Machine now. Yeah, it's not even worth it. But he, he just yeah. he, he just keeps going, it's Machine. And the reporter's like, the Machine, the Machine. He's like, no, the. <laughs> Should we roadmap it up? Yeah, all right. All right, guys. We have your pitches. Our pitches, everyone's favorite segment, Teach Me Something, mm-hmm. followed by This Guy Rocks. And then we have Bob Marley songs that don't exist and words that Will and I think should be spelled differently. Yep. And then some other fun stuff. And I'm not going to crap my pants, even though it feels like I am right now. <laughs> From the coffee? Yep. I mean, you drink a Celsius and a coffee at the same time. Yeah, that's like a crap dated. pit. Yeah. And I it's had, like a crap. I had, that's like a crap sandwich. <laughs> How do my bangs look? I keep fantastic. I was gonna say I like it. I, I never see you go back, but I like it. Thanks. They look. I'm just killer. Thank you. I'm just staring at myself in the in the screen the whole time. That's good. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's healthy. Good. Oh, did you guys see the dog I saw at the coffee shop? Yeah. Yeah, I saw. Did that. you ask to take that picture? Or did you sneak it? No, I just took it. <laughs> well, I asked him, and I was t- like asking just him about sneak her. Just sneak it. Uh, let's hear some pitches. Oh, we're wearing um, the same shoes today, Will. Yeah, I had them first. It's not true. It is. I got them in Maine this summer. Yeah, I've had these shoes for like over a year. All right. First pitch is from Chloe Freeman. I've had ghosts for the last four years. I just keep getting the new models. Chloe Freeman. Chloe Freeman. (laughs) She says, hi, guys. I have a pitch for you. It's a mirror that records everything and plays back memories to you. 
So imagine you have it set up in your hallway and you just pose in front of it before you leave or don't. It's always recording so you don't have to worry about snapping a photo or anything. All of it syncs to your phone on an app and it picks the best photos of you and they're actually good. If you host a party, you can use it as a photo booth and share the pictures to your friends. If you have a dog or baby, you can see it grow up and it makes a video for you. If you change your hair, it will show you a compilation of it growing. With AI, it can make anything you ask for in photos and videos. It can even make an album of your outfits. It also makes a wrap for each year and what you're up to. Let me know what you guys think. And the name is Mirror Me. I've got some qualms. Oh, really? I was like, I was like, made me so happy to I think love about it. that. Oh, right. What are your qualms? Well, it's guy who wanted to work qualms into a sentence. Guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just, I just, I wanted to work qualms into this. Well, you're sorry. What are your qualms? I kind of stole your moment there. No, it's okay. Tell me, tell me. What are no, your qualms? I'm not going to I want to hear your qualms. Not, I want to hear fine. your qualms. It's great. It's a great mirror. Just fucking tell me your fucking go. qualms, dude. Just go, man. You don't want to be here, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tell me your qualms. Uh, no, I was just going to say, well, like, they're recording all the time. It's like, like it's going to be uploading footage of, like, no, I mean, every time you walk in front of the mirror to a folder. No, no, no. It just she just said it just picks the best ones. Or like you can probably grab what you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I just wouldn't. Yeah. As long as it's like completely automating that and it knows what I think are the best ones. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have to sift through like hundreds of pictures of every time I've been in front of the mirror. Yeah. My. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll give a qualm. I'll give a qualm. My qualm is that I would spend all of my time in front of it. Like yeah, just like watching old shit. I'd be like, the, and when Harry Potter finds that mirror, uh, oh, do you watch this stuff through the mirror too? Yeah, I mean it could display. I think oh, it could, it, she say it I thought display? it went to your phone. I think it just goes. I think it's just a mirror it with a says camera it on it. Syncs to, it syncs to your phone on an app and it picks the best photos. Okay, well in my world it can re- display memories, and I would watch back. Uh, I'd watch back some things. Oh, you know what would be cool? Mm-hmm. You can play. Like, so it would basically show what the mirror sh- saw for the whole party or something. I think All, that's... Yeah. That's no, the idea. What? Like, you could put it on, like, like it would be, like, five hours long of just showing exactly what the mirror saw that whole time. Oh, so you, oh yeah, you could watch it back. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you could put that on in the corner. So it's like everyone's hanging out, but there's like a recap of like an old party going on in the mirror. Oh, that's fun. So then like everyone's hanging out, having a good time. They're yeah. like, oh, this is a, this is where this yeah, is yeah. where Jerry drops his cup. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I also feel like you could really get to the bottom of some like drama. Like, yeah. Like, people talking yeah. to each other. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I would. It's a little big brothery, I guess, is my concern. But I would love it. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's just like the ring <laughs> well, you, camera for inside. I'm sorry. All right. Love that. The wing Next, camera's inside. The wing camera. Oh, oh! Here's the thing, because she said it could make uh, catalogs of all your out of all your outfits. You stand in front of it naked, and then you can shuffle through what clothes you own, and it would show you. So you can make an outfit. I feel like you've, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. For sure. I think we got to the bottom of that. Bro. What about this ring camera for boys? <laughs> your ring camera was not like super gay this time. Yeah, like a straight. Ring camera. It doesn't show me doing any gay stuff. <laughs> it doesn't catch up. It doesn't. It doesn't. Rec- it stops recording the second I do anything gay. <laughs> if I'm making out with anyone, you got it. Yeah, I mean that's a million dollar idea. It turns girls and it turns the guys that I'm making out with in front of it into girls. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, those guys cool. love that shit. <laughs> Next one is sort of similar from oh. Nathan Bailu. <laughs> it's also wait, sort of similar. Well, like you, you'll see. How did he know? <laughs> no. Oh, you're saying that. I'm saying he didn't that. write. <laughs> no, he didn't write that. Hey guys, love the pod. I tune in every Wednesday at work, and boy, do I have a pitch for you. Picture this: you're get dri- back to work. If you're listening right now, <laughs> get back to work, Nathan. <laughs> your company needs you, Nathan. Nathan, this is a wake up call. Your company needs you. Go back. Go work. No, Nathan. Nathan, <laughs> kick back. Put your feet up on your desk. Finish this episode. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Picture this. You're driving down the highway with a breathtaking sunset behind a mountain in front of you. Done. You want to take a photo of it, but you're driving and you've missed the perfect angle by the time you get your phone or maybe your windshield is all dirty. No dash cam? No problem. Introducing the windshield screenshot. 
a button on your steering wheel will capture a landscape yeah. photo of what your windshield sees. Yep. All the photos would be saved to a gallery on your car play that you can scroll through yeah. at any time. Right. It tells a story of your car, where it's been, a summer road trip, a gorgeous sunrise on your way to work, or even a really funny bumper sticker. The days of struggling to take a picture while driving are no more with the windshield screenshot. With a button right at your fingertips, this process becomes effortless. This idea could save lives. Yeah. 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 That's, oh, he's doing that. So yeah, that, I, I think that's genius. I agree. Yeah, that's great. It, yeah, I mean that'd be so. New cars should just have that built in, like a maybe like a new Tesla would have it. Mm -hmm. Here's what here's what pisses me off. You know when you're driving and and everyone in the car is like, oh my god, like look how pretty this is, but you have to like yes. keep the car on the road. Yeah. Like we were driving back from Topanga and it's like super windy road and we were all like, oh this is insane. Like look at those houses over there and yeah. Skylar couldn't. Look. Well, maybe there, maybe there's like by like where the window buttons are on the driver's side. You, know, you can like control the windows. There's yeah. like a little screenshot button next to each one, so you can also take a picture out of it. So if like the guy in the back writes like, "Holy shit, look at this!" You can go and it takes one out of his window. No, it's so yeah. bad. Every time I'm, I like exactly what you're talking about. When I'm driving like to Topanga or from it, I'm like holding my phone or like my little digital camera, like trying to take photos. Like it's so unsafe. Put up one of Lauren's digital photos right here of us this weekend. We had a great time. Oh, Put up yeah, digital photos. This podcast is brought to you by Mando. Introducing Lumi for men. Have you heard of Lumi whole body deodorant? It's hugely popular, Will. Yes, I've heard about it. My sister and mother love it. Nice. Well, now they have Lumi for men. It's the same clinically proven doctor-developed formula but in cologne quality scents for men. Mando is made with mandelic acid and alpha hydroxy acid that blocks the sweat eating bacteria on your skin from causing odor in the first place. So you don't even smell. I put it on last night. I still smell incredible. It genuinely works. What scent do you use? Uh, bourbon leather. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds fun. I smell like my dad's handbag. I put a little Mount Fuji on Ooh. a couple weeks ago. I swear to God, I smell good for three days. Nice. Mando's amazing. It's clinically proven to control odor better than a shower with soap. 12 hours after a shower, the average man's grundle odor level was a 5 out of 10. With Mando, the average grundle odor level is a 0 out of 10. That's scientifically proven. Mando's starter pack is perfect for Father's Day. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. Give the man in your life the gift of aluminum-free whole body deodorant. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Shop Mando's Father's Day bundle with code PLAYDATE at shopmando.com. S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. We're going to take a quick second to tell you about our new favorite partner. It's the world's first zero-carb, zero-alcohol, and zero-taste beer. That's right. They did the impossible. If you haven't figured it out by now, it's actually just sparkling water. The brand is not beer. That's what it's called, not beer. The can looks just like a beer, and it talks like a beer, but it's just sparkling water, so you can drink it all day, every day. It's a healthy alternative to alcohol, a great drink when you aren't drinking beer, and a fun and sustainable alternative to boring, single-use, plastic water bottles. Listen, we just got some not beer sent into us yesterday. Just cracked one open. Let me say, it's delicious. Honestly, I think my whole life has just been building up to where I can get a sparkling water sponsorship yeah. for how much sparkling water I drink. And this is perfect. It looks, I like I like the can. It's got like a very classy kind of look about it. Yeah, it looks like we're, it looks like we're kind of badass. Yeah, we kind of, it's like if you want to drink sparkling water, but you also want to be like badass. Yeah. Or the, yeah, that's what you were saying. So we're drinking it during a podcast. You could do it while you're operating a forklift or looking for little beads at the beach or i drive with it climbing yeah you can drive with it looks Imagine, so cool. you should yeah you can do like you can like try to get pulled over just to be like officer that's not beer you can find not beer on amazon go to amazon.com and use code 10 playdate at checkout for 10 percent off your purchase that's code 10 playdate for 10 percent off your purchase of not beer let's get back into the episode you want to pitch each other willie yeah i'm gonna rock your fucking world let's hear it brother um, you go first. All right. <laughs> uh, who here likes to play pool at the bar? Pool at the bar. Sometimes. Yeah. I don't know how. I'm a little iffy. Sometimes I get annoyed. Yeah. That's super fair. I get bored. And one of the parts of it that's frustrating is one, like getting 
like making everyone known that it's your turn, but also like making sure that like sometimes like Joe and I went the other day and played like six games in a row. Yeah. And it was kind of like, all right, like I almost wanted to lose at that point where it's like, um, yeah. we got to We got to spread the wealth here. Like no one wants to just sit here and watch us play pool. Everyone, everyone puts a quarter in um, and it like randomized makes a tournament. Right. And then it'll be like, all right, team one and team seven are playing right now. Yep. It'll tell you when it's your turn. You come, you play, you leave for a little bit, whatever. And then at the end, the winner of the tournament gets half of like the quarters and the bar gets the bar gets the other half. I love that. Thank you. Pool pool tournament. Is it like an app or it's like at I think there's like a screen above the That's awesome. Above the pool table or something. That's great. Thanks. I'm in. I would do it. Yeah, because that is kind of my qualm with it. It's like like you want to play every, you know, and it's fun to do throughout the night, but like you kind of have to c- commit to like a long time or a not yeah. time. You don't ever get to spread it out like that. Um, okay, what is what does it? What, what? Um, you looked at you looked at us like something was going on. Oh no! No, I think she's honestly. I think she's having like a freak out today. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm just zoning now. I'm I'm um, no, no. What does everyone love the most? Love pigs in a blanket. Oh yeah, oh, pigs in a blanket. Yes. Good. But what's the problem with pigs in a blanket? You had like you gotta get all sorts of mustards and they sound like they're like basically for kids or girls, <laughs> <laughs> right? They're basically. I, guess, I mean, they're yeah. not. There's nothing manly and tough about pigs in a blanket. You know what's crazy? The last time I, I think I've only had them once in the last like two years, and it was at your, it was at your parents' house. Oh you, god! Yeah, they're <laughs> shopping for them right now. Yeah, can you, <laughs> this is distracting. Sorry, me. sorry, sorry. I present boars in a blanket. It's pigs in a blanket for guys. It's huge. It's the size of a, a full hot dog. And and it, you basically actually you can make your own boards in a blanket. So you, basically they just sell the bun. It's like a hot dog bun, but it's like m- more flaky, like pigs in a blanket, I think. And it's a circle. <laughs> it's like a circle. So Are you, you pitching the corn dog right now? <laughs> no, because you don't nothing like a no, because no. you know that's that's cornbread, dude. Pigs in a blanket's different. And also corn corn dogs are like pre made. This is like you grill the hot dog, and then once you're done, you just. Blunk, and you stick it in the bore in a blanket, <laughs> and then you eat it, and I it's love it. fucking manly as hell. The blanket, I feel like you, I feel like you missed which part of the name is the girly part. <laughs> the blank, <laughs> the blanket is definitely the girly part. <laughs> oh, P- pigs in like, like pigs a- in a trench coat, <laughs> or <laughs> bore in a tarp, <laughs> pigs in a tarp. <laughs> For dudes, oh. pigs, yeah. Okay, the blanket part's definitely the girly. Part. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see your logic. <laughs> well, I'll be back. I'm gonna. That'll be my pitch next week. I'll rework cool. this. Yeah. Do you want to hear some assholes? Yes. Or maybe not assholes. <gasps> Only one way to find out. Spence is going. <laughs> like my new look. I don't yeah. really. Yeah, I'm not obsessed. Sorry. All right. This is from All right. TJ. He says, am I the asshole? Your boy, Teej? Hey, guys. Long-time listener. First-time asshole. For starters, I'm deaf the asshole here, but I wanted to see if you guys knew where I was coming from. <laughs> wait, Just- what did he say? Long-time listener, first-time asshole? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Wait, oh, oh, wait, wait. Actually, do you have a phone charger? No. Oh, yeah. For USB-C? That's iPhone. No, do you have a USB-C? Oh, that looks like iPhone. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. Do you? Okay. I just, because if we get to the drafts, I won't be able to do them. Oh! What, is it for charging? No, it's not. It's not going to work. You're going to have to go out there. What do you mean, oh? It's just not going to work. Like, this is just like a cord. Oh, it's just the... (laughs) (laughs) What happened? So Lauren, I was like, do you have the phone charger? She was like, I have this one. And I was like, no, I need the (laughs) USB-C. And she went, oh yeah, I have that one. (laughs) Hey! the same cord bless you all right that's hysterical okay am i the asshole hey guys long time listener first time asshole for starters i'm deaf the asshole here but i wanted to see if you guys knew where i was coming from just got back from college and was at the gym and decided to mobile order some jersey mics it was lunchtime and it's the only jersey mics in my town so i knew that shit was about to take like 30 minutes leave the gym after a little while and drive over to jersey mics inside i'm looking for my order because i 
it should be ready by now and realized I accidentally ordered it all the way to my college town in Virginia. I live in Connecticut. Huge L for me on top of that the line of this place is out the door, so I don't know what to do. I checked the mobile orders again and see another order with one cheese steak in it, which was exactly what I ordered. So I just grabbed the bag and dipped. Definitely fucked up for me, but I was starving. Wasn't going to wait another 30 minutes and knew I wasn't going to get a refund from the Jersey Mike's in Virginia. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for so... Sorry, you... No, you can... Well, so he knows he's the asshole. Yeah. But what we're trying to get to the bottom of is, do we at least know where he's coming from? I can understand the thought process, but what you have to realize is like it's not like Jersey Mike's fucked it up. Like you made the mistake, yeah. And now some guy who was waiting just as long as you were and was probably as excited, if not more excited, for his cheesesteak. He's gonna get there. It's not gonna be there, and uh, he's gonna have to wait like an hour for it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, it's, I mean, you're self-aware, you know you're the asshole. For a second, when you were telling that, I thought that he ordered a cheesesteak from Connecticut to his house in Virginia, which just kind of had me thinking, like, how far could you get a DoorDash guy to go? I, I don't know. Not far. Not far. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, that's that. It reminds me of a time when I was in my college days, I got back from the bars and there was a bag of McDonald's in the lobby of my yeah. apartment building. And I looked and it was like, at this point it was like two 30 in the morning and it had been delivered at like 11 o'clock. Yeah, so it was, a, it was, a, it was a classic order and fall asleep. Yeah. I was like, this person definitely isn't going to get this while it's still good. At the same time, I, you know, I have a lot of moral conviction. I'm like this freak. Um, <laughs> So what I did was, you know how they put those, like, stickers to, like, seal the bag? Mm -hmm. I just carefully unpeeled it. I checked the receipt. It said he had three uh, McChickens. I took one McChicken, resealed it. It's very, like, and judicious. I had, had yeah. yeah, I was like, you know what? Wait, and then you just left the bag where it was. I didn't even move. I never moved the bag. I did this all while it was sitting and just resealed it, went up and ate my McChicken. And it was guilt-free because it was like... They were going to eat it anyway, but no. at the very least, they're not going to be like, where's my third McChicken? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm a hero is what I'm saying. But I think this guy is is an asshole. Could we play devil's advocate and claim that, like, yeah. it's kind of a victimless crime, though, because he's going to say, the other guy's going to get a free one. The other guy's going to get a free one. Or not free. No. The other guy's going to get a new one. Yeah. He might have to wait longer, but it's not like that guy's not getting his food. What if that guy's in a rush, though? That's what What I if his think. wife's in labor and that was all she If wanted. you're in a rush and you're going to Jersey Mike's at, like, you know, rush hour, you're... What is you're, rush hour for Jersey Mike's? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty to three. Yeah, it's probably a fucking nightmare. Dude, though. I remember uh, that window discovering Jersey Mike's, and uh, my buddy Kevin put Cool Ranch Doritos in his Philly cheesesteak, mm. and I tried it. Any good? Yeah, it was awesome. Really? I've never gone back. Whenever, like, whenever I that made it seem like I meant like I've never turned back. Yeah, I was like, you've never gotten back. Wow, it must have been great. It was, <laughs> it was really good. Jersey Mike's is awesome. I didn't know what it was until COVID. I'm a Jimmy John's guy through mm -hmm. it, through and through. Why you can't get hot? Yeah, you know, Same. Like I'm a Jimmy John's. I like hot, but like like Jimmy John's is just objectively better. Okay, you got BLT, extra bacon, easy on the salami, no ham at all. No. B BLT add Wait, salami. There's salami on no, there? B BLT add easy salami. Oh, okay. Easy, is that what you say? It's just a little. No, no, that's like that's like one of the options. That's the lightest amount. Like, like, go easy on the salami. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, do you get it Mike's way? Mm-hmm. Nice. Not at Jimmy John's, I know. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't like Mike's way. Oh, I love it. Vinegar and oregano and all oh, that nonsense. Yeah. I need all Too much stuff nonsense. going on. And then yeah. I also had banana peps. Yeah, banana peppers are great. Banana peppers are great. Great. Underrated. Great. Underrated, honestly. Great fruit. Yeah. Uh, you guys ever had a pub fruit. sub? No. Yeah. Pub subs are fucking What's legit. That? It's pu the Publix sub. I have a take on pub subs. I've never been to yeah. pub. I'm not going to like it. It's like, they're good, but it's like, I'd, ra I'd rather get Jersey Mike's. Like, oh, it's, really? It's just like a novelty. That's insane. I don't think it's I've great. never met anyone that likes Jersey Mike's. It's like a novelty because it's only in the South. People love to be like, oh, I love my pub subs, but I think it's like not. I think it's night and day. Yeah. They don't have those in California, right? Publix? I don't think so. No. Never been. I think it's like I've only Florida, seen it in Florida. It's Florida, mostly yeah. Florida. They have it in South Carolina, Georgia, probably. Yeah, 
All right, let's hear the next. Here we have a little sandwich. Oh, sorry. Here we have Ralph's. Yeah, last yesterday I ordered a I ordered a bunch of hangers from uh, either Ralph's or Vaughn's, and the lady was like very communicative over Instacart. And when I got there, she opened up and she goes, "Hey!" And I go, "What's going on?" She was like, "Somebody getting organized." And I was like, "Yeah." And she goes, goes, "Woo!" And then and then walked away. It was awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is a question though. Why are grocery stores like? Why is it different in every place? Like, I feel like it's a good question for like the part like Target and Walmart have like yeah for that part of the. I think industry. it's because where they're sourcing like the the food the, the produce like the fresh stuff. Yeah, um, it's okay. just easier to probably be separate. I also that think like s- whatever caught fire in like the '60s before it was like a big thing like became the established yeah. grocery store in that region yeah no you know that's I mean? and i think a lot of them are owned by like like kroger owns yeah. harris teeter but that might as well have been chinese i don't know <laughs> i don't know what either harris of those teeter. things are that's what i grew up going to harris teeter <laughs> you guys went, have sam's club i went to jewel yeah i never went though sam's club jewel Legit. was the name jewel jewel was the name of your grocery store <laughs> yeah Jewel. Jewel? Right. This is enough. There's been enough grocery and sandwich talk. Let's <laughs> Jewel. Jewel. That looks sh- like the Jewel worst. Osco. Yeah. It like, is funny. Though, that, that is that crazy. Hannaf- There's er, so many uh, weird ones. Hannaford. All the grocery stores have like bizarre names. Yeah. yeah. Win Dixie. What is that? Win Dixie. Google Win Dixie. <laughs> Isn't that a dog? This is just ribbing. no. Win Dixie's named after oh. the. Yeah. After the grocery store, the dog's named after the yeah, grocery store. Yeah, because she found yeah, her she by found the, the dog. Found it in a by the thing. Oh what? All right, all right. Let's do the next <laughs> I, one. Like, I could I could talk about there's this like all giant day. and then yeah. there's giant eagle some places. <laughs> Wegmans. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Why hate, I feel like he hates. I love groceries. this conversation. I don't like the grocery store. Freaks me out. <laughs> it does freak me out being inside it, but I like yeah. talking about them. I was uh, Piggly Wiggly. I All right, have, we I get have it. a shirt. I have a shirt that says Piggly. Wiggly. They went out of business. Of How does that one go out of business when all the other ones have shittier names? Yeah, that's fair. We I remember when we were, when we were prepping for the when we were prepping for the quote unquote hurricane. Uh, I was I had just left like the kids aisle. Yeah, and I had all the fun like kids snacks, like Spider Man gummies. Wait, and, like, for. In college? He, no, here. Like, you know when we thought um, we were getting one in the fall? And Edge, uh, for those of you at home, Edge is our boss. Yeah. Saw me leaving the children's aisle. And I was like, I swear under this there's, like, normal <laughs> food. Dude's like, yeah, okay, dude. All right. Should we hear the... Uh, yeah. Hear the H-E-B? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows... Oh, what, my God. I just want to see what it looks H-E-B's, like. H-E-B's... I've been to It those. looks like every other grocery store. I went to store. one in Mexico. It looks like the exact uh, same. That's like a Mexican. Well, it's like Texas. What does it stand for? Oh, yeah. What does H-E-V stand for? Hermanos Eos Barrios. Barrios. Hermanos Eos Barrios. Okay. Um, this next Am I the Asshole is from Charlie. What up, Chuck? He says, hey, Lauren and the fellow frolickers, nice. am I slash are we the assholes for leaving oh. an active police investigation? So, basically, me, one hometown friend, and two of my college buddies were set to go to a Red Sox game a couple days ago. Guess we so. get on the South Borough commuter rail trying to get to Boston early to go out for drinks and such. We get around, or we get to around Natick. 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 I thought it was Natick. 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 Yeah. When the T stops completely in the middle of the woods. About 20 minutes goes by, and we start wondering what went wrong. No announcement from the conductor yet. A ton of stadies? State Please. troopers. Oh, yeah. oh whatever. Stadies and town police are on one side of the train, and unfortunately, two people were hit by our train. At this point, everyone starts freaking out and worrying about how they're going to get to work, Celtics game, etc. Another two hours goes by, and the four of us see a trail on the opposite side of the train to where the investigation is. We book the Uber, jump off the side of the train, and start heading towards the rail slash nearby neighborhood. As soon as we get to the start of the trail, we look back and see two stadies running after us, and we're pretty much like, hey, do we run or let them talk to us? After convincing two of the kids to not run, the stadies come up to us and start yelling about how stupid we are. They're, they calm us down, and we explain how we are just trying to make it to Fenway ASAP. Thankfully, the younger of the two cops were really cool and talked the other one down from getting us in any actual trouble. So basically, are we the assholes for leaving the active crime scene and trying to make it to the game? Wait, wait, wait. They were on the train when it hit the people? Yeah, yeah. and then they got off, walked through the crime scene. 
to get to the. And right they were side. supposed to what? Stay on the train. I they know, were supposed to I not wanted. walk they... through the. I don't know. And I feel like it shouldn't matter. Wait, why were the stadies already there? It just says. I feel like you mentioned the stadies before you mentioned hitting the people. No, okay, no, so the the train stopped. Twenty minutes goes by, and nothing's going on, and uh, then a ton of stadies and then and they police are on up. one side, and then they probably realized what was going on. That's interesting. And then two hours go by, and then they're like, "We need to get off." They the were train. on the train. Yeah, no, they should totally be out. Yeah. So why? Why were they captive for two that's hours? What I'm wondering. Twenty minutes, I thought. You said no, two no, hours. No, Twenty minutes uh, goes by without them knowing what was happening, and then all the police and everything yeah, they show up, and I then think two hours go by. You got to find a way around the crime scene. No, you never yeah. want to walk through the crime scene. Yeah. But no, you're not the asshole. No, you're not the I mean, asshole. yeah. It seems hard. To, like, they probably took, like, the easy, the best route they could. Probably. Wait. <laughs> they said they were, like, in the middle of the woods. Does the train? Are there a lot of, like, woods around there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know Boston, like, at all. I mean, this is, like, are they on like the Are they on, like, the Amtrak? I kind of don't know. No, the commuter rail. Yeah. It's, like. And yeah. No. No. Yeah, I, I thought answer. that was I. I wanted. I saw Boston, and I wanted to read it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I. Yeah. I love that city. That Wait. city taught me everything I know about my body. Can I? I'm going there tomorrow. Yay! N T A Friday. Can I airdrop a video, a Boston video that I found yesterday that I thought was. Really hey, funny. I'm in Boston. Yeah. That's it. Airdrop it to the computer. Yeah. So yeah, it says Goodwill Hunting, but they're both dumb. <laughs> okay. What are you doing for your birthday? It's just another year. No, it's not. No, 21's a big year. What are you doing? Something special. Yeah, something special. You know, I'll probably just go down and get my union card, <laughs> find the woman who hates me and put a ring on her finger, you know? That's real fucking <laughs> smart. Yeah, do the same thing the rest of us do when you're a genius. Come on. Get out of here with that, man. Get no, out. I'm not going to get out of here get with out that. Here I'm with not going to get out of here. Remember that puzzle you solved with the sailboats? How many pieces was that? 500 was the Mayflower. I, wasn't I don't even know what the Mayflower is. You know history, too. You don't belong with us. Come on. How long, how long did it take you to Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, two you weeks. You belong in the fucking CIA. Get it. Get that. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, don't get to say that to me. Don't get to say that to me. Maybe I do. You don't get to roll my life. That's not true. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm supposed to have a shovel in my hand. God put a shovel in my hand, not yours. It pisses me off in living this life. Not you, too. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You can solve puzzles, alright? Yeah, no, it's not your car. It's not a car. I thought we were sitting on a jet. Jesus. Thank you, man. No, that is hysterical. Um how did that how do you think of that? We were talking about Boston. I just thought it was funny that they mixed two scenes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 500 pieces, you belong in the fucking CIA. What was, it, the, what was the sailboat? How long did it take you? Two weeks? <laughs> All right, how are we doing, guys? Friday Beers has an exciting new collab. We worked with our boys at Final Boss Sour. We've now got the Friday Sours variety pack. Four different types of sour fruits. You want to hear the flavors we came up with for mm-hmm. our collab? We've got strawberry margarita, AMF, jungle juice, and sour colada. They're each tiered, too, with how, how sour they are. What are you holding right there? I'm actually holding the level four AMF. So for you novices at home, level four, pretty intense. And level I actually, four is, I've never tried more than three. Three made me, three made me a little sour yesterday. So we're going to give this a shot. Holy shit. <laughs> so I have to try it, don't I? You have to try it. And here's the thing. Oh, my Lord. Give a shot, Will. What were you gonna say? I like the mango and the apricot ones. Those ones are really good. I can snack on the level ones. Mm-hmm. These, oh, you know, it's kind of like a car crash. It's like you, like you want to stop looking at it, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, give Final Boss Sour products a shot today by going to finalbossour.com and use code PLAYDATE for 25% off your first order. That's finalbossour.com and use code PLAYDATE for 25% off your first order. Final Boss Sour, dare to embrace the sour. Let's get back into the episode. Um, all right, should we do uh, teach me something or this guy rocks? This guy rocks. All right. This guy rocks. Um, oh my. Rocks. All right, can you toss my phone then, Elbone? Si. Thanks, si, brother. Senor. Oh, somehow hit my nuts. All right. Um, so you don't want to do yours first? Yeah, here's here. I have I have two today. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna airdrop it as well. All right, 
two guys. All right. So the this is a cover of uh, Feeling Whitney by Post Malone. Oh, and this is a guy who's I always loved it. Is this guy who's always live on TikTok? No, that's he, Do, that's Don Halliman or something. He's on uh, YouTube. Th- this guy? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen, seen his guy. like full videos on YouTube. So but I've been looking for someone to put up with my bullshit. I can't even leave my bedroom, so I keep pouring. And I ain't seen the light of day since. Well, that's not important. It's been long. I was feeling Whitney, me and my homies, sit roasting. Cars and clothes thought I was winning, you knew I was losing. You told me to wake up, oh my clock always stays on snoozing. I'm done. Isn't that beautiful? Aww. Yeah, that was gorgeous. That makes me want to cry. Yeah, I, I was having a good, having a good time watching it. Yeah. I feel like videos like that just make you feel grateful for life yeah i don't know about all that i think so <laughs> all like, my look, look at these old people like they're just making yeah they're old as thing. balls too that guy's so old <laughs> um all of mine today just a heads up are people doing covers of songs yeah, okay yeah. that's perfect <laughs> that i won't have to worry about the copyrighted music yeah i don't know why we haven't just been airdropping before this is so yeah easy. this is so much way easier. Easier. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right uh, someone uh, said this to us on twitter which I was, I like, so for the people at home, it's a kid at, at one of those like trampoline park things, like with the bouncy basketball court. Yep. I he's, still, he's, I, he's like this camera nine. Is horrible. I can't see anything. That's okay. Oh. It's fine. Just, it's fine. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, for the for the folks at home, he tries to dunk. He kind of he kind of looks at the camera, <laughs> and then goes to dunk and just uh, misses by a lot. Oh. Like, <laughs> he doesn't even get like an inch. No, he's not. Crowd. He's not even close. He's All right, negative vertical. Love him. I've been looking for. Well, who's your guy? Or did you have another guy? I have another guy. I have another guy. I have another guy. So this guy is also doing covers. Uh, this is this what this is one of my favorite songs. I wa- I've seen this guy growing up. Uh, it says me singing "Gary Come Home" by SpongeBob. Big Mark. Kind of got pipes. Yeah. Yeah, but he does it in a different cadence than like the regular song. I don't. Yeah, I don't know the original, but. Do you want to watch the rest? Uh, no, but I do want. to... Sorry, one more. <laughs> this is my last one. I'm so. You're sorry. gonna run out of guys. No, no, this is the same guy. Actually, no. <laughs> oh, it's the same guy. This is this is him doing a different one, but th- I like this one better. I just I needed to show you guys that one to let you get a feel for him. All right, ready. This is him singing "Lollipop" by Lil Wayne. Oh wow. <laughs> Got, he's, he's got it. Whatever, got, whatever, wh- the whatever it is, is yeah. he has it. <laughs> can I? All right. Can I say something that uh, that the just reminded me of? Mm-hmm. It feels like no one is singing about bottles in the club anymore. Like that used to. That used to be. <laughs> I agree. The like the thing that people were flexing. They, yeah. It's such an awesome visual, and we don't talk about it enough. Yeah, but whether it's popping them, cracking them, popping them, cracking them, them, spraying down, them, spraying them, shattering yeah. them. I agree. I agree. Like, there's something so cool about about bottles in the club. Pop music from like the 2010s like tens era is doesn't exist anymore. Like there was like I, like what what is going like who is making like the you, next Dynamite by Tayo Cruz? Oh, or like King. probably. Like Tate McRae will probably stumble into it. I guess, yeah. But like even now, I feel like the people are too like. Kim no one's Roy just making like kind of 
that kind of music for fun. Yeah. Like, even it's too serious. Yeah, I want to... Yeah, we need, like, a true boy band like, again or like pop stars we need like flow rider we had like we had flow rider we had tayo cruz we had Katy perry we had all these artists that were consistently put, putting out these songs mm-hmm. yeah that we all love yeah but th- it takes like a type of there's no one with that confident like that blind confidence to be I, so outrageous anymore i know i think that's yeah yeah no actually what male singers are like even like i guess we, like Hitler sabrina was. carpenter and like, I feel like there's a lot of fe- like pe- female carpenter. pop. What? I think Sabrina yeah, female carpenter. pop's in a good place. Yeah, we've got a yeah, lot of yeah, we've yeah, got right. a lot of female With, pop. We got right. Olivia Tate. Sabrina. I guess I mean the Biebs is Dua? Taylor. Is she pop? Do is pop. Do is yeah. the pop queen. Yeah. So where's our pop boy? That's what. Yeah. Kid, the Kid Laroi. The Kid Laroi. Yeah. Wait, I feel like he's. I feel very like that's like rap. No, dude. Look at his new. Look at his new song about about uh, Tate McRae. It's sick. Really, Wait, really good. Yeah. So do you know the story? How old is he? He's like pretty young, dude. Um, the do I know his story. So the NHL boyfriend, I guess, like cheated on her, and then he made Kid Laura made a song about how he's the new man. What's it oh. called? Fuck your ex man, I think. <laughs> or I'm the man now. <laughs> those are like those very are just different. The, <laughs> those are just the those are just the two. F- Girl. Just called oh, Girl. those are the lyrics. Let's just see what this video is. Uh, yeah, it's like poppy. I literally yeah. hated that. Yeah, I don't like the guy. I don't like the guy that's yeah. in this video, but the Kid Leroy is cool. The, okay, that's, right. yeah, Kid Leroy, that's a good example. All right, should we do Teach Me Something? Teach me something. something. So, I have, a, I have a fun spin on this this week. I believe you. Um, I'm just going to give you two events that were happening at the same time that you wouldn't think were at the same time. Okay, I Sound like good? that. Yeah. Uh, Gandhi was alive to write a letter to Hitler asking him to end World War II. He did, he did it, too? Yeah. Uh, yeah there was only 44 great. years between the first flight and the dropping of the bomb, of, like, the first, uh, like, bomb out of a plane. The first, there were how It many doesn't years? say, just 44. So the Wright brothers were, wh- like... Yeah, that's crazy. Whatever. The that, Eiffel that, that moved quickly. The Eiffel Tower was finished the same year that Coca Cola was invented. That actually, that, that one of, yeah, feels that like yeah. Yeah, that one makes sense. Uh, this one's gonna blow your mind. The Great Wall of China predates Jesus by t- two hundred and twenty years. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> how the fuck do they make that shit? Uh, Rosa Parks was born nearly a month before Harriet Tubman. That one doesn't make sense. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. no. That's not true. I think it's true. That's not true. Rosa Parks was born before Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was the Underground Railroad. Yeah, and Rose Rosa Parks was like probably like fifty Civil when she, fifty when she was sitting on the bus. Sixty when she was sitting. If on the she bus. was fifty in the what fifties? Then how? There's no way. Okay, 1913, and then Google. Well, it's yeah, literally it's imp- rusty. That's like not even close. 1813. I mean, 1822. <laughs> it was a hundred years apart. They're. Born a hundred years she apart. She died. Rosa Par- Let me read it again. When it's someone. She died the same year she was born. Oh, sorry, sorry. She <laughs> she was she was born nearly a month before Harriet Tubman died. Sorry. Okay, that makes more <laughs> sense. <laughs> that is sorry, it was they used it was they used the death emoji, so I like read it as what's the death emoji? Skull and bones. Okay. Uh, Charles the first was killed at the start of the Golden Age of Pirates. That makes sense. Einstein was alive when Queen Victoria was Queen of England. Yeah. Well, I don't have really a reference on Queen Victoria, but Einstein, what I, have you seen Oppenheimer? Einstein's in that, and that blew my mind. Oh, where, where I was like, how the fuck is yeah. Einstein it's in? Like, it's like how, like, Picasso was alive in, like, the 90s. Yeah. What are you doing? Is that true? Or 70s. Like, he was, like, he was, like, around. <laughs> really? He was, like, around, Look like, Picasso. How Picasso old? death was, like, was, like, way more recent than you would think. 70s. Yeah, he died in That's oh, crazy. Wow. Yeah. Um, Slavery was abolished in Mauritania the same year the first iPod was released. Yeah, that's oh, crazy. Mauritania has always been behind the yeah. law. Um, what is Mauritania? <laughs> it's a. It's near Mali. It's like on the western part of Africa. Oh, okay. Um, let me find another one. Going back to Honolulu, just to oh Isaac Newton published the laws of motion at the same time the Salem witch trials were occurring. That's, That's funny. Crazy. Yeah, about. those are, those are just like so different. Two people that were on wildly different like <laughs> <Yeah>. wavelengths. 
<laughs> they were, yeah, they, he was like, he was like reality. figuring out the keys to the universe, and they were like, which is a witch. <laughs> Those are the good old days. Right. Um, <laughs> What's your teacher for yourself? Sorry, that went on a little long. No, I have no, mine's I like this day in history in 1854. Uh, Senator Preston Book- Brooks beat the shit out of <laughs> Senator Charles Sumner in the halls of Congress with a cane. It's awesome. Over slavery. Good. Or wait, it depends no, on which the, side he was the on. Bat, the, 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 the guy that was wanted to keep slavery was mad and beat the shit out of the abolitionist with a cane. And he was deemed a hero in the South. <laughs> but it was like they were two active U.S. senators. Can you imagine? It's hilarious. Who like, how, did the... he, how did he hit him that many times? Like, how did no one break him? Yeah. Oh, no, Will. I, on no. the bright side, I learned that Celsius has color. Is, I always thought it was clean. That's orange. That, yeah. I've never had a Celsius. Never? Not a fan. They scare me. Oh, wow. I mean, that's good. They're not good for you. I used to drink them every single day. Wasn't Andrew Jackson like dueling guys? Wasn't there who was the president that was like like known for dueling guys? And they had to be like, cool it, dude. Yeah, maybe. Google Google president. Who was the who was the last president to duel? Last president. Yeah, Andrew Jackson and Charles Dickinson. That seems like an interesting duo. He killed a man. Is he the only president ever to murder a man? He killed... No. God. I'm, so a duel is me? like a sword fight? Bill Clinton. Every president ever. Bill Clinton. <laughs> if you count, like, Why don't people have sword fights? You count war crimes. Any day. It's a good question. Yeah, like, I feel like that would still be like the most honorable way to go yeah. about it. When I was a kid, I didn't understand why every army wasn't just wearing suits of armor still. Yeah. But then I thought about it. It's like, that definitely doesn't stop a bullet. But in, my, heavy. in my head... Yeah, my dad was like... <laughs> like so he like couldn't understand why I thought that why you <laughs> he was like they we wouldn't get anything done they wouldn't be able to like move around <laughs> yeah it'd be a nightmare all right you know like the duel duels were weird do you know like the Hamilton thing no like so he died in a duel and it was like basically there was like a lot of etiquette around duels where like it was you were supposed to go to the duel but then like kind of proper etiquette was like in a lot of cases you just shot in the air like both people would just shoot in the air, and then they're like that would like be like them settling the beef. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and so in the Hamilton one, like there's a lot of mixed reports, but like allegedly, when he turned around, he went to shot and shoot in the air, and the other guy thought he was gonna actually shoot him, so the other guy shot him and killed him. But the other guy being Aaron Burr, but. I guess uh, it's like I guess it's like you can't really be mad at the guy. Yeah, you don't really you don't have a ton of time to be like, is Hamilton gonna shoot? In but it's yeah, it's just insane that they would do duels. But that the, like the way etiquette had developed, like it was commonplace to just both shoot in the air, and like yeah. just the fact that you showed up and risked it was like enough to like. I guess don't don't challenge a man to a duel that you're not prepared to, to if you're not prepared to die yeah. <laughs> or shoot. Yeah, here's it, my question. Also, his son died in a duel beforehand. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that we just settle things with like rap now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've always wondered, like, when we're shooting in the, like, if you shoot a gun in the air, I feel like that's like a thing people do. Like, how are how are people not just getting like hit by the bullets ever? Yeah, I don't you never hear about. Is it not guy. going fast enough with like terminal velocity? I mean, if you drop a penny from apparently, if you drop a penny from high enough, it would like kill a guy. So you know yeah, what I mean? Like, so you'd have like to think it would when it yeah. gets to the top, it would probably like come back down at terminal velocity. Or like, does someone die at every NASCAR race when they fucking start to they shoot the gun at the beginning? I don't that's think not that's an actual, there's I don't no, like, think that's how they started. It. Yeah, they started. With I mean, there's yeah, no, they start NASCAR. It's a blank. No, no, no. It's a NASCAR. Yeah, I don't think you think of actually... track meets and that's a blank. Yeah, NASCAR is definitely just. It's just for like the pop, like the noise. Yeah, there's no bullet. Yeah. Oh. Do you guys want to? I am down. I, I've been not going to NASCAR races yeah. my whole life. No, guys, I didn't think it was a bullet. No. Do you want to do Bob Marley songs first? or Bob it? Marley songs was impossible. Yeah. I There's don't. no consistent theme to the name of his songs. Yeah, we were also kind of treading through some murky waters where it's like, I can't <laughs> talk the way that he talks, yep. obviously. So, like, uh, do you want to do that or words that we think should be spelled differently? First? Just do the Bob Marley ones first. Okay, I got. My first one. These are Bob Marley uh, songs that don't exist. Wait, do it again. These are Bob Marley songs that don't exist. <laughs> these are Bob Marley songs. Well, Is that what I said? It. No, no, no. Just last week, you guys were like, "These are Bob Marley." These are Bob Marley songs. 
I've got uh, Get Down, Lay Down. And okay. It's about it's about uh, a guy who gets too high. Okay. And he has to just get down and lay down. It's so like, get down, lay down. We definitely did the same thing. Yeah. Are yours all just parodies of his song? Name? Two of mine are. Okay. I've got I Kicked the Security Guard. <laughs> this was the how he originally wrote I Shot the Sheriff. Yeah. Um, but all everyone, you know, he showed it to some people and they were like, it just doesn't really like convey that much like gravity to the situation. Like, yeah. You kicked the security guard, who cares? So that's why he rewrote it as I shot the sheriff, but originally it was, I kicked the security guard, but I didn't kick no assistant security guard. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Um, I have more woman, more cry. Okay. And it's about, like, a polyamorous relationship, and he's realizing that, like, the more women that join this, mm-hmm. like, thruple and, like, quadruple, whatever, like, the it just is making his life way harder. Yeah. So he's like really upset about it. More fuel to the fire. Mm-hmm. I've got Detention Song. <laughs> um, it was the original version of Redemption Song, but it was about when he got detention in middle school. Um, All I ever heard, Detention Song. <laughs> oh, teachers, yes, they rabbi, stole life from geography. Minutes after they took I. From the lunchroom. Something. Bees. Nice. Bees. I've got uh, I've got Rich in Life. And it's about, have you ever seen that interview with him where they're like, he's like, the reporter asked him if he has a lot of money. And he's like, I don't have those types of riches. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And uh, he's talking about how he's super wealthy, but uh, in like good vibes and life. Love that. That's great. Uh, I've got... 400 massive birds. <laughs> oh, it it was a really long song so they had to shorten it to three little birds, but I like it. Yeah. Um I've got Yesterday's Tears and it's about it's about mourning a relationship and like giving yourself time to be sad about it and then he's like but those were yesterday's tears. Like now, I'm I'm getting back on my horse, mm. and I'm gonna try and get back to living life. I like that a Thank lot. You. That's a good idea for a song. <laughs> I think the problem with well, this segment is like that could be like any. I'm not. Di- yeah. it's a, it'd be a good Bob Marley song. Yeah, but like it when could I was, be anyone. Yeah, yeah, like that could be good. That that's a good song. Thank you. Um, I've Thank got game. I've got chilling. <laughs> this was uh we're chilling yeah it was <laughs> the version of jamming before he learned how to play instruments yeah mm. he's like we're chilling we're chilling <laughs> we're chilling i hope you like chilling too <laughs> we're chilling 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 i wanna kick it with you <laughs> i like that a lot we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling i'm starting some i wanna chill it with you we're chilling, chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, chillin', chillin', and I hope you like chilling too. Like oh yeah, that. I like that a lot. <laughs> My final one is the taxi man. Oh, and it's about a cab driver and all the people that he meets and how they all think that we're all so different, but he realizes through all the people that he's met that we all kind of have uh, a lot of things in common and that we should be nicer to each other. Mm-hmm. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, the taxi man. Uh, my last one is called Cry It Out, Bitch. <laughs> uh, this was in, he he started to feel a little bit bad about no woman, no cry, and wanted to give women the opportunity to cry it out. I don't think you, I don't think you've ever listened to No Woman, No, no Cry. No woman, no cry. I think he's saying, like, he's like, if you don't have, like, if there's no woman in your life, there's nothing that can make you cry. No, it's like, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. <laughs> I've never listened to that song. I actually I actually have listened to that song a bunch, but I think what I was thinking of is there's a scene in The Office where Aaron's like, it's like Bob Marley always says, no woman, no cry. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that was Bob Marley songs. That, don't that was Bob Marley songs that don't exist. Yep. We nailed it. Should we do words that we think should be spelled differently? Oh, yeah. These are words that should be spelled differently. All right, we're drafting words that should be spelled differently. Now you have two options, if we do two parts, too. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you like chilling too. <laughs> okay, I uh, I don't even know how to say this one correctly. W- Worcestershire. Oh. Who in their Worc- r- worst? Yeah. Who in their right mind threw all those vowels and consonants together and thought that was a word? Insane. Hate it. Worc- Worc- Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Is that how you say it? Worcestershire sauce. Might as well be Chinese. Worcestershire. Yeah. Well, it's also confusing because the place in Massachusetts is Worcester. That's spelled like Worcester, but then this is completely different. Yeah, I know, but it's it's is it Worcestershire? I think it's Worcestershire. Worcester. Can you play it? This is such a funny. What is the hardest sauce to say? <laughs> <laughs> as if as if it, there would be Keep any blushing. other. The hardest Ketchup. sauce to say. Yeah. Aioli. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's I've got Wednesday. Yeah, mm. hate it. So dumb. Where? What is the point? Wednesday. Wednesday. Like either say Wednesday or change how it's spelled. Don't Hate fuck it. with me. Hate it. Hate it. Tsunami. Ugh. We can't just be throwing. Can't be throwing silent letters at the beginning. I'm fine with a with a once in a while middle of the word silent letter. I think that's fun for everyone involved. Yep. First letter. It doesn't add anything. It's ridiculous. It's a tsunami. It should just be start with an S. Yeah. Tsunami. My I I'll never forget there was a time my dad was being really funny when I was little and he was like on the phone and they were doing the like you know the like D as in David, yeah, yeah. A as in but he was he was like, Okay, yeah, it's P as in pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> T as in tsunami. Yeah, that's funny. P as in pterodactyl. Uh Colonel. Hate it. Colonel. Yeah. Colonel mustard. What's up with that guy? Guy's a murderer. I remember I learning history and like reading the book as a kid. Yeah. And being like like we were reading aloud and I said like colonial whatever. You got fucking reamed. I out. got reamed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was one I'm trying to remember what it was. You got railed when I said colonial colonial. There was a word <laughs> There was a word that for some reason there was a part of a part of the word that the kid thought was pronounced like anus. And he said it in front of our entire class. Anus? I can't remember what the word was. I could have sworn it was anus. He <laughs> said he said something and like hit anus really hard. And everyone was like, oh, like no. <laughs> Not even close. He said something and hit anus really hard. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm just gonna draft Famous. I'm gonna dra- I'm gonna draft the name Sean, spelled S E A N. Yeah, that's a get weird one. out of here, dude. Oh, oh wait, like is your, your brother. brother's name? My brother. Yeah, that yeah. freak has no, a what weird the scene? what the fuck? Fuck they him, thinking? dude. I'm so pissed at him. Does worst. he listen to this? Oh uh, no. L L Choir. Mm. Spell it for me. C H O I R. Oh yeah. Choir. Do a Q in there. Choir. Choir. Like choir. Yeah, it's choir. Like choir. Yeah. Or. Or core. Or core. It just shouldn't be. Those letters shouldn't be in a row. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Q. Spelled Q-U-E-U-E. Mm-hmm. Yep. The, it was like they gave him. They were like, all right, you have a week to figure out how to spell this. And he figured it out on the first day. And then was like, I have to pretend to still be working. Oh, so he's just <laughs> adding more just letters. Add, just, yeah, I'm still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Uh, Island. Yeah. Get the S out of there. Island. Um, Arkansas. Why um, is, why is Kansas Kansas, but Arkansas is not Arkansas? That, yeah, we need some consistency there. Hate it. Uh, for my last one, ladies and gentlemen, hors d'oeuvres. I don't care that it's French. Yeah. We're in America. Yeah, get that shit out get of here. Get that shit out of here. I still, I don't even know how to spell it. I spelled it wrong in my note app. Yeah. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, um, I have a I have an honorable mention, mm-hmm. Jeopardy. It's mm-hmm. spelled Geo Party, which sounds like a blast. Sounds like a rock party. <laughs> yeah, or or like a yeah, or like a party for like the state capitals. Infuriating. Yeah. Oh, also receipt. Receipts dumb. Get yep. the S out of here. Receipt. Yep. Yep. What about? Lawrence <laughs> yawn. I've yawned twelve times. In this episode. Yeah. This has been it's our sleepiest a, it's episode. Sleepy slow. Definitely. Took me a long time. To yeah. Do. Defiantly. Yeah. It took me a long time to get that spelling down. Yeah. Whose personality are you guys still this weekend? Bro. Bro. Knowing me, probably someone fucking sick. Yeah. I'm going to take. Um, keep going. Keep going. Keep pushing through. You got 
Yeah. Lauren, whose personality are you going to steal this weekend? Uh, what personality are you going to steal? Um, you, ever, you guys ever watch Vsauce? No. On YouTube? No. He, like explains these like big concepts and it's really fun to watch and I, I think I'm just going to act smarter this week. Hmm. So if you guys see me like okay. holding court and I'm like clearly talking about something smart, just like, you know, maybe let it happen. Okay. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm going to steal my buddy... Um, my buddy's personality. There you go. That's fun. Yeah, my buddy CY. He's just like he's like one of those friends. He's like God. He's like really messed up in the head. His name's CY. Yeah. What does it stand for? Connor Youngberg. He's like a total freak, and he's like super <laughs> weird. And so I just want to kind of live in that space this weekend. You yeah, know? that's cool. Let my hair down. He's one of those guys who just has like no shame being himself. In, in a way that, like, he should have shame about. So sleepy. Whose personality is still? <laughs> sleepy. Sleepy. Sleepy the dwarf. Yeah. Sleepy the dwarf. I'm gonna steal. Oh, dwarf. 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 Weird word. Weird word. Why is that spelled like that? I, feel I, like think, they, I think they hit the nail on the head. I think it should them. be an O, maybe. Yeah, D O R F. Dwarf. Yeah. dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. I'm gonna steal. <sighs> that old man's personality. Yeah, that guy was a good guitar. Vibe. I I just love yeah, him. Very I like him. Sweet. Also, I don't know if they're a sponsor yet, but um, Not Beer sent us these. No, that's really we're doing them for today. Oh, let's go. Then I can say this. Not Beer sent us these hats, and I'm pretty stoked on them. It's a good hat. Yeah. Um. It's all right. Tough. What do they comment? Comment. Uh. Comment. Um. What they did over. Comment the or last. <laughs> comment the last time. Comment the. Comment your favorite moment in history. Comment your favorite home in history. Comment your favorite home goods Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta pee really bad. All right, great episode. Uh, Love you guys. Guys, have a great rest of your week, and thank you for listening. We really appreciate it. I feel like we never tell people, but if you like this, you should like it and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you can get more of it. Let's get to and 10K. yeah, we'll get to ten k. We'll send. Oh, we have fantastic news. We finally finalized our merch design, mm -hmm. and Will so and I are killer. so excited about it. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. We'll let you guys know. Have a great rest of your week, a great weekend, and we'll see you guys on Wednesday. We love you. Mm -hmm.